Here we go, y'all. So, the preliminary rounds for Miss Universe 2022. Let's react and let's score each of the girls. Sueña Silva Antonio and One of my favorites. Oh, Sevilla has her master's degree Ooh. in international sociology. In the future, she would like to Look represent at her body. country at the UN to assist in protecting the environment and fight to human rights. I love the capes. Angola. Oh. Aruba! 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 That is body. a master of laws, a student specializing in international business trade and tax law. I'm going to put my scores for each of the girls at the end of their performance. The so she can combine her two passions, traveling and Ooh, look at that Aruba. face! as a travel culture and Ooh, I love this cape. I love this the blue on blue. And then the background. Perfect. Brazil. She stands out. Is it just me or does she look kind of short? Cambodia is so... She looks like Megan Young, Miss World Philippines. Well, Miss World from a few years ago. She's gorgeous. Colombia. Ooh, I love this swimsuit on her. I love this color. Despite being raised in a low income household, she earned her degree in media and journalism and hopes to create her own TED Talk one day. Yes, face. Okay. Gabriela dos Santos, Curacao. During the band, she's probably my biggest crush on Miss Universe this year. She enjoys kickboxing, speaks four languages, and plans to study psychology in the near future. That cape. Curacao. The face. One of my new favorites. She wasn't on my on my top picks, my hot picks, but after prelims, oh yeah, I noticed her. Gorgeous. Also wasn't on my hot picks, but. Although she's busy, look at that body. Look at that wall. Always finds time to give back, proudly volunteering with the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. <sighs> Panama! Alessia Roveño, Peru! Peru! Alessia! I love the confidence as she, as she walks out. This 24 year old works hand in She commands the stage. Helping women in vulnerable communities maintain close relationships. I'd be surprised not children. to see her in the top five. <laughs> Come on, Pinoy! <laughs> This is her color. That fuchsia. Safe. That's a queen right there. To ever go to space. This 28-year-old aerospace engineering student plans to work at NASA in the future. We're opening a STEM center for children and teens. Ooh, I love that turn. She hit all the marks. Gary, South Africa! Prior to entering her national pageant, Nzavi worked as a consultant for an investment management firm. In I Cape love her aura. This 23 year old is fluent in four languages and hopes to host and a that TV hair? show or Ooh, a podcast in the future. That nature. cape? South Africa! Great performance. eating disorders in our country and around the world. This 26 year old psychology student began boxing over a decade ago and is still one of her biggest passions today. 
Spain. What is that? Like a purpley pink? <laughs> Ooh. And that's an island! Anna had to work hard to earn her degree in hotel and tourism management to pay back her study loans. This 24 year old donated blood, Dang. collected garbage, and cleaned the school. Thailand. That's a money-making face right there, Miss Thailand. <laughs> Gabriel, USA! USA! Ooh. Harmony is the CEO of her own eco-friendly clothing brand. In her spare time, the 28-year-old teaches sewing at non-profit design house. She looked like she was on fire while walking. Of human That's hot. And domestic violence. USA. If not now, then when? Top five. Yeah. <laughs> I love that cake. This 23 year old fashionista runs her own digitally sustainable brand as mm. well. Venezuela. Perfect performance. Top five. We hang up down! <laughs> 28 year old Chow is an ambassador for the children of Vietnam. Ooh, I love this color. She has and I love this cake. $1,000 for the organization and providing 31 buffaloes to low income households to help with farming. Wow. Vietnam. All right, so those are some of my top picks for the swimwear round of the preliminary competition so far. I know that I missed a lot of the ladies that um, that had great performances, great swimwear performances, but to me, these are the ones that stood out, and so I wanted to include them in this video. Now I want to know which ladies captured your attention during the preliminary swimwear round. I would love to know that as well so that I can go back and kind of review other performances. But so far, I think this is a great indication of who we are going to see in the semifinals, maybe even the top five. I know I kind of threw out some, some of my top five predictions and I'm really excited to see how the weekend pans out because I think that the selection committee is going to have a hard time in selecting our next Miss Universe because as I've said in my previous video, this edition of Miss Universe is probably the most exciting and the most difficult one to judge yet because so many of the ladies are so well prepared and worthy of the crown. I'm gonna make a separate video critiquing the evening gowns of some of the ladies that I chose from the preliminary evening gown competition and then another video for my favorite part of any international or national pageant, the national costume show. There were so many great costumes that I want to talk about um, a lot of them. So. I'm gonna see you in my next video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe below so that you can be updated on my pageant content. So some of my friends are on their way to New Orleans, Louisiana to watch the coronation of the 71st Miss Universe live. And they invited me to go, but bro, I am broke as a joke because of my national competition in November. So I'm, I decided to, to kind of just stay home. But I wanna make it a point to continue making pageant content here on YouTube so that when I go to live pageants, which I do pretty often, I can take one subscriber per pageant to, to join me and to watch with me so we can build even more excitement. So make sure to subscribe and then make sure to follow uh, my social media so that you are updated in whatever pageant content I make. So once again, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.